reason why I wanted to study the Caribbean here in London is because you have unrivaled access to a variety of different sources. You've got Senate House, you've got the British Library, you've just got a variety of different institutions and areas that you can go to and just have them all at your feet. A couple of things that attracted me was the fact that uh, London does have a a Caribbean community. You walk down almost any street in some parts of London, you see a Caribbean restaurant, a Jamaican restaurant. It also has many institutions related to the Caribbean. And so th there is a sense that there's a connection between the United Kingdom, especially London, and the Caribbean when you're here. The MA in Caribbean and Latin American Studies is a unique master's program that combines core courses in the Caribbean with a wide range of options on the whole of Latin America and the Caribbean region, from Mexico in the north to Chile in the south, and from the Bahamas to Trinidad and the Guyanas. The vast range of our coverage is definitely one of the unique strengths of the degree and the institute as a whole. Before my undergraduate course, I travelled to South America to teach English in Chile for four months, and that really piqued my interest in Latin America as a whole, and ever since and I've just been eager to learn much more about it, both at my first degree and especially now in this master's course. The Institute of the Americas is, is unique in allowing you to specialise, but at the same time giving you this very broad approach to the subject. For instance, my interest in Cuba could have been a, a real tunnel vision approach, but I was encouraged to really look at the whole region and to try to understand how Cuba relates to the region, both historically, economically, um, and therefore to understand its exceptionalism. One of the things that really surprised me about the course is that in comparison to other courses that I've taken, it not, doesn't present a Euro-Western-centric view of the Caribbean. Instead, it encourages you to engage with literature written by Trinidadians, written by Jamaicans, that, which provides you with a refreshing new outlook on the region from a native perspective. One of the real benefits for students taking the MA in Caribbean and Latin American Studies is that all of my colleagues have deep connections with the regions that they teach, not only in terms of their research, but also in that their opinions are often called upon outside of academia, be that in the press, policy committees, or even the United Nations. Weekly we have events where experts come and present their insight and give their advice on current trends. On a weekly basis there are at least two, maybe more, seminars you can attend and it is an integral part of the entire educational package that the student gets here. We've had film evenings, we have lecture series in the evenings that are really incomparable in regional studies of the Caribbean and Latin America. The challenge is to decide what to do and, wh and what to choose um, sometimes, which I think is a good challenge to have. For my end of year dissertation, I'm planning on going to Honduras to study the political system in relation to the 2009 coup. My recent visit to Cuba was in order to assess the availability of archives in Santiago de Cuba that would be useful for my dissertation subject and to assess the availability of people I was hoping to interview find out if they were amenable to that and if they would be accessible when I returned. I would say to a student considering studying here that if you enjoy a challenge, if you have a passion for the region, then you'll find the course really rewarding. I'm really satisfied with the choice I made to make London and the Institute to places that I would study.